Indigo Dragons Gaming 2019 Best Bits. There's my ice cream skin. Where is it? Where have I put it? Is it behind this inferno tower? No. Oh, I know. You haven't got it yet, have you? Sorry. Yeah. Now we we'll check out this wizard walk on the top right. So there's a little pack of wizards there. And it's down to one wizard. Just one. Five. That is crazy. Is that two healers? Three healers. I've never seen anything like it. I think we've got three healers there. <laughs> okay. And he's got to get past this archer tower. And a wizard tower. You think, no way. Look at this guy go. They can't take him down. He's getting hit by two defences. He's still there. <laughs> and he's got a bit of a breather now because he's out of range of the wizard tower. So he can take up these buildings at the top right. What's this tally at the moment? One, two, three, four, five buildings. Six. Seven. Now he's going to move in closer to the wizard tower. It's lucky that he doesn't have to walk far to get to the wizard tower, otherwise he would go down, but those healers were able to catch up with him quickly. He's got hit by two defences at the moment, that is a, a max wizard tower and a max archer tower take, attacking that little guy. This is crazy. Look at his life going up and down. <laughs> Can he make it? Oh, he's going to get started hit by an expo as well in a second. He's going to take out that archer tower. He's still going. Look at this guy. He is mad. <laughs> Imagine if you had a rage spell there. <laughs> <laughs> he is super pumped. His life bar getting up and down. That is crazy. He's got that bomb tower there. Can he make it? He's, this is an expo that's pounding him. He's still going. A crazy little guy. Here he goes, round to the bomb tower. Oh no, there's a furno as well. It's just too Aww. much. Three defences, but I've never seen anything like that. Never. That guy's a hero. Gotta love him. <laughs> the villagers are talking about making a statue for him. You giant dragon statue! It's actually a three by three. I think that's the first three by three statue that I've ever seen. So I'm going to have to move things around here. Because uh, it's not going to fit in. So I'm oh, going to have to... Now the the other problem is because it's a 3 by 3 That's a massive hole in my base. Somebody's going to be able to drop troops straight in there, aren't they? So that's not going to do. I'm going to have to jiggle things around a bit. I, he can't go there. I'm going to have to remove him a minute. Ah, uh, What am I going to do? Right, let's let's just try and move things around a bit. Ow! This is the base I came across, exactly the same as Will's base. Um, obviously somebody's found this and copied it. Uh, now look at the bottom, we've got those wizard towers there. Well, that's the splash damage, so when we release the, the bat spells, this is Pekka Bobat, when we release the bat spells we want to make sure we freeze those or we take them out. Uh, in this um, one I use the balloons to take those out. And then you can see I've just highlighted the air defences and the air sweepers, so in terms of the healers we don't want those to get blown away so we come in from the top and there's a nest of the top defenses and heroes in the center there so we're going to make a start from the top of the base with the ground warden and using the healers on the ground warden this is slightly unusual but this is a feature of this attack strategy that we've got from will thanks to will and a big shout out to tony for posting the strategy on one of his videos, Secrets Revealed. I'll post a link under my video. And we're using the King and Peckers and Wizards to create a bit of a funnel at the sides there. And that's going to bring the Grand Warden into the centre. And the rest of the Peckers and the Wall Wrecker come into the middle there, followed by the Bowlers and the Queen. 
I mean, an early rage there to get things going as we come in. Also, the bats are going to come in from that side, so we might be able to use the rage there. Got to get rid of those multi inferno before we release the bats because that's the major splash damage in the middle. Freezing the, the single inferno there. The bats are coming in now. Take out the town hall very quickly. The siege, and in the siege, we've got the ice golem and a pecker. That's a, a common um, usage of the siege machine for the top players there. And we've chewed right into the center of the base where the biggest defenses are. So we've just got to clean up around the side. I can't help thinking that the sides uh, lend themselves very well to uh, Electro Dragon attack. All those defences lined up, it's not great for Electro Dragon attack. Anyway, we dropped the balloons there, spread out a little bit with those wizard tiles because we don't want them all to go down together. And that just gets rid of those there. And then it's just a bit matter of cleaning up really. We've still got some packets going, a, a bowler. And now we're down to the Ground Warden and the Queen. But notice they're full health at the moment. There's one healer left. But that's enough to keep these heroes going. There's a Max Queen I've got there. Ground Warden's only five levels from being maxed as well. We follow those over to the last part of the base. And it's just a few mortars, a few arch towers to take out. So, it's a very difficult attack strategy to master I found, but... Works very well on Will's own base. <laughs> Will's own strategy, Will's own base. Uh, so 100% attack there. Excellent. Town Hall 12, 100%. <laughs> Go Dragons. Today we're looking at special events, obstacles and rare stuff. And we are joined by Maid Marion. Welcome Maid Marion. Hi. What? And the witch's hat, that's one of my favourites as well. Yeah, I do like that. I like that one. I do wish I had the cauldron though. I used to have the cauldron, I got rid of it. I've never seen the cauldron. Well, we're, luckily for you, oh, we're going to go and hunt for yay. it. And there's the spiky way. <laughs> Cactus that was to mark the release of Brawl Stars. When did that come out? I don't know. <laughs> was it? <laughs> it was probably a year ago or something. <laughs> Christmas tree from 2017, I think. And there's a fifth anniversary cake there as well. And there's your cauldron. Oh, yeah, I like the cauldron. I love that. That is cool. I really wish I could have oh, that. Oh, he's back. got a few of them. I don't like that tree. No, it's a bit dull. <laughs> it's that 2016 tree, I think. Oh man, that's not fair. Oh, we should never put all these walls here. But they don't want to go for the town hall. Why is that? Why do they never go where you want? What a catastrophe. Three trophies, no stars. Mega Trophy Push Part 3. Up 1,168 trophies. Welcome fellow Clash Addicts, this is Merlin of Indigo Dragons. Yes, that's right. We've pushed up 1,168 trophies in about a week. In that time, we used up about 12 training potions and managed to push up six leagues. This is a Town Hall 11 attacking a Town Hall 12 and she took out the top and right hand side infernos as we'll see now but dropped two haste spells next to each one and send in the balloons. Now that's the nearest target so we could get straight into the infernos quickly take those out. Also managed to get out an air sweeper before she dropped the electro dragons and then we can move in with the wall wrecker oh. and the right hand side so what we're doing here is freezing the air defense which is nearby and the wizard tower because they do a lot of damage to bats and then we drop in three bat spells on each single inferno and that is well worth the six spells units used up there to get those out of the way and then we're clear to make our main attack. Uh, this is a little clip from one of my attacks earlier today and I just recorded this video because 
I just think Royal Champion's really cool. And I love the Seeking Shield ability. I hope you agree. I thought I'd share this with you. Because uh, you don't always know what's going on with the, the Royal Champion. You don't always get to see what she's been up to. So let's just take a look at that again. Using the ability to throw the shield. And it hits five clanmates have been found that, that, that match your filters. So that's great. We can start recruiting again. The only thing is, when we had Global, you could have a chat with people before you invite them to a clan. See what they're like, whether you actually want them in your clan. Make a decision about whether they might be possessed by the devil or not. We've lost that, but I'm sure this new recruitment tool will go from strength to strength. Maybe we'll get a filter for people that are not in a clan, for example. That would be great. The Bow Witch is so successful, so I thought I'd try a Yeti Witch, or Ye Witch as I'm calling it. So this starts off with two yetis with three witches behind on each side of where I want to come into the base. Then I'm using the king and some more yetis uh, to take some of the hits whilst the wall wrecker moves through. And then in behind that is the yetis and some more witches and the rest of the heroes. And that's allowing the, the wall wrecker to go right through to that um, eagle artillery there and get towards the town hall. All the time you can see these little yeti mites hopping over the walls, taking some of the hit points off that eagle artillery. And we've got a few ice wizards in there, they're just helping as well. To f they go for defences and they freeze the defences a little bit, just to slow them down. So the wall wreck has made right into the town hall now, and we've got the ice golem and the pekka. That's a favourite for people in Legend League, as what to have in your wall wrecker. And we've just got to take out these splash damage. We've got the queen being taken out there by the king. And we've still got the queen and the ground warden in the middle there. Uh, there's still a... Well, we just lost the yeti. But we've still got quite a lot of witches. And have a look down at the bottom there. There's a few witches taking out those cannons. And the skeletons are causing a little bit of a distraction. But we've lost those now. So we've got the Queen and the Ground Warden to clean up. There's a few, there's one witch stuck in the middle there. Don't know why she's not using that jump spell to get over the wall, but there you are. Perhaps she can't see that her way around there. I don't know. And the Queen's just going to take out this uh, wizard tower and the cannons. There's a couple of skeletons just to give a distraction. So we've got pretty much full health on the Queen and the Ground Warden there. That's going to help us just finish off this corner. With two Tezzas and a Wizard Tower, this is looking very nice indeed. Just a few uh, buildings to take out as well. And the Witch has made it through now with her skeletons coming through. And it's a, it's a easy end now. So just got to clear up the last few buildings. So that's, it's, it's nice to get um, three stars allegedly. It's not something that I often manage to do. Um, once every few days I might manage it. So I, I've been really enjoying using the Yi Witch because I've found I can... Welcome fellow Clash Addicts, check out our new channel icon. In this video... Beta Minions and Drop Ships. Will you? Um, what we're going to do is we're going to drop these in waves. So we start off with a wave of minions to take out some of the buildings from a distance without getting hit we also got a few minions around the sides there just to narrow this base even more a narrow base is great for this attack because we can really sweep through there in a continuous sort of line wipe straight across the base we've got the battle machine coming in behind now he's protected to some extent by the skeletons which are causing a distraction the minions are protected from things like the roaster and the air bombs by the drop ships so sweeping nicely across the base there getting towards those uh, air bombs now the skeletons are going to help with that and they're also going to help get through the town hall there got lots of skeletons here we got rid of the roaster so they should be able to stay alive for a bit longer although they're dead in the first place of course and the battle machine is able to plow through this base normally it'd be difficult to get the battle machine through here because there's so many walls but all of that distraction from the skeletons helped us get right to the other end. Uh, the minions also help with these um, crushers. And we're just down to the Mega Tesla now. Plenty of troops left over. That's a three-star attack. Really good attack strategy. 
usually you can get two stars. Three gems a day. So that's one in just under six hours. And currently I've got eight in there. Now, the thing is that if you go into your gem mine and you've got eight, how do you know that you're not 10 minutes or five minutes away from getting a ninth gem? Well, you don't. And if I collect those eight, it doesn't matter if there's actually 8.9 gems been made already. I will only get eight and I'll lose the point nine. So the tip is don't clear your gems every day. Wait until it's filled up because then if you're collecting 19.9 gems, well, you've only lost point nine out of 19. So that's not too bad. The other thing you can do is check how many gems are in there and keep checking back every few hours while you're playing. Maybe you'll see it goes up from 8 to 9 and then you can collect knowing that you've not lost much. Now, how do you find out? Because if you select the gem mine, you just collect the gems. So what you need to do is select the wall first. And then you can press the information button to go in and check how many gems you currently got. So we don't want this to get all the way up to 20. We want to collect it before it gets there. Or we want to collect just after the, the number has gone up. In this case from 8 to 9. Uh, that's the best way of making sure you get the most out of your gem mine. And upgrade it of course because it will make more each day. Information including the tutorial video. And if we go back to... To the main setting screen there's a little swap button where you can do a quick switch between accounts and that will list the accounts you have and you can quickly change from one to another much much easier and smoother way to change between accounts if you've got more than one account <laughs> Of it. Maxing my Town Hall 12 base. Uh, those of you who've seen my previous Town Hall 12 videos know that I'm getting pretty close. And in fact, now I've finished my siege machine. Well, that's nearly finished. And I've just got to do miners and heroes. All my buildings are upgraded. Uh, there are quite a few walls to do as well, I'm afraid. Uh, I'm not sure whether we're going to manage to do all those walls before Town Hall 13 comes out. But we will certainly max out all of the heroes in this video 35 minutes to recover so we'll we'll give them a bit of boost recovering as well what we're going to do is get some gems and uh, the first upgrade of the king i'm going to gem that because that will be slightly cheaper than the last upgrade which is going to be to level 65 now having done some attacks we'll also complete some challenges um, so we have a look at that in a minute, what rewards I've got. Uh, we, we can use the Rune of Elixir and do the second upgrade right now. We use the Book of Everything. What a beautiful sound music to me is. Ho, 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 indeed. So just the Grand Warden to do now. And then that is all my heroes. Max for Town Hall 12. He's going up to level 40. Now, let's have a look at what we've got here, because I saved some medals from the last League War. And we've got a Hammer of Heroes. So we're going to use that on the Grand Warden to do his final upgrade for Town Hall 13. So here we go. Shall I do it? Yes, we've got to do it. We're doing it. Yes, it's done. It's done. Well, I must say, I never actually thought that I would ever max out all my heroes. It's been a long time coming. And of course, no sooner have I done this, than Town Hall 13 is going to be out, and there's going to be new levels of heroes to upgrade. And so it continues. 
but it's all good news and it's fantastic feeling to have managed to upgrade all the heroes right now. Yes, hello there, Mr. Barbarian King. Thank you very much. Number three, Scattershot. Next up, we have the Scattershot. You don't just get one, no, you get two. It hurls a cluster of rocks that break and scatter into a cone shape and cause massive splash damage. They hit both air and ground and they upgrade to level 2 and go up a massive 20% damage per second, making them the top defensive upgrade. Plus, they look so cool. Run through my little maze. I want to do. I want them to do what I want them to do. Ugh. He's not even going through the maze on the way back. Right, that's it, you little. Why you think you're getting back to your hut? Doubt it, pal. <laughs> 